Now, I kind of glazed over scope a little bit. Let's, let's talk about that because I think it's important that we at least cover basic fundamentals. So see how this parameter has a first number. That's actually a variable, just like we've been doing variables before. But notice that it's only defined in the parameters for the function name. So the function name of what the function's called and the name of your parameter. So we can access those variables because they have names and so we can see them in there. But notice you're not gonna see it as a global. This is an implied local. There's no local in front of it. It's just implied that that's local. It's kind of done for you. So if I were to print out first name or first number, you can see it's already red. The Roblox Studio knows that I haven't actually referenced it anywhere, but I wanna do this on purpose to show you that it doesn't exist, it's nil. And that's because it's only used inside the function. So think how, I, you know, whether you use tabs or spaces, doesn't matter, I'm using tabs. Just think basically when I say inside, it's basically where this cursor is, the code that's inside the function and above the end. Make sense? So when we say inside, it's local to that function, hence the local. Now it's confusing because there is no local keyword, but parameters are always assumed to be local. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually access things outside of your function. For example, I could have first number is one, first number or second number is two, and these are global, right? So the function could access them if they wanted to. So when I print first number here, I'm gonna see one. And what it's referring to is the one up here, not this one, okay? This is where things get really confusing, hence why you wanna use local and not name the variables the same, but it's important to know the scope. All right, now, what if we remove this? We just remove it, right? Now it's gonna to refer to first number, second number up here. So when we call add, we don't call it with any parameters, it's gonna reference those global variables, right? So it still gives you the result of three. So the scope of these variables is global. And the scope that it's now using is it's using the global first number and second number, not the local ones, because they don't longer exist, we deleted them. But if I did this, first number and second number, it would now use nothing because I didn't pass anything in and you can't add on nil. So if I call add with no parameters, it's, it's like, well, okay, first number and second number is nil. Now you and I know that's not true, it's one and two but it's talking about these, the ones right here. So it takes precedence of the ones that are farthest to the right or inside the function. So when you think about scope, how do you know which one you're referring to? Usually it's inside the function, furthest to the right is, is scope. A lot of people call this block, right? Block level scoping. 